Hi, Deirdre McNamara here again. This is the second video in Microsoft Excel 2010. Uh, today we're going to look at um, simple formatting and some very basic um, summing and adding up in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to do some typing and to save some time, I'll just pause the recording now. So I've just done some typing in there. Um, and you'll notice that I've typed food sales. I clicked on cell A1 and typed in the words food sales. Now, it doesn't exactly fit into the area provided. It slightly stretches over into the column B. This is column B here. And you can see the ES here uh, stretches over into that. Um, don't worry about that. That should be fine. Um, so we're just going to um, start to work out um, First of all, we want to add up, we've got toddlers, kids, teens, adults, and elderly or retired people, and the total, and how much of each portions of these they ordered in a restaurant. So we would like to add up the two, the four, and the one, and we'd like the answer to appear in this cell in here. Now, the simplest way to add numbers together is to use the auto sum feature. Um, adding up is something you do very frequently in Microsoft Excel, so they put in a button specifically for that. The best way to do it is select the cell where, the, where you want the answer to appear, um, and then click on the auto sum button. That's that funny E thing here. So if I click on that, um, you'll notice there's these things called dancing ants around the cells that it's about to add up. And in the cell that I clicked on, it says equals sum bracket B3, which is this cell here, colon, or down as far as cell B5, and then close the brackets. And it's showing you there exactly what cells it wants to add up. It correctly guessed that they were the cells I wanted to add up. I'm happy with that. And now to accept it, I can either click on the correct sign up here, up in the formula bar, or on my keyboard, I can press the enter key. So I'm just going to click on correct there now. And you can see it puts in the total in there. Uh, now, if, for example, I realized actually it wasn't one portion of vegetables, it was 10. So I'm going to change that one now to a 10. So I'm clicking on the one. I'm going to type in 10 on my keyboard. And the minute I press enter on my keyboard, you can see my total automatically updates. So it keeps checking the values in those cells. And once they change, the total will automatically change for you. Now, once you've done the first one, the great thing in Excel is it can follow that pattern. And the thing that we saw in the uh, first video, the fill handle can be used for this. So you put in your first formula in the leftmost cell or the topmost cell, and then we're going to drag it across. So Excel thinks about this as saying, add the three numbers above me. And that's the same here, add the three numbers above me and the whole way along. So I want to do that the whole way along. So I click on the cell that has the formula in it, one cell um, and I find that black cross down here in the bottom right hand corner I click with my left mouse button and I drag across and even though there's nothing in the totals yet I'm going to drag right away across as far as the total and when I let go my mouse I'm letting go now you can see it puts in the totals now at the moment there are no numbers in these cells here so this total here says zero but the minute I put something into those cells that zero will change so now I'd like to get my total moving across the way. How much fruit in total was eaten by everybody? So again, we select the cell that we want the answer to appear in. We click on the auto sum button up the top. So click on auto sum. I'm happy it's correctly put the little dancing ants around the cells I want to click on. And I click on correct. Now, a big thing you need to be careful of is in Excel is making sure that you do check that it is adding up the correct numbers for you. So always visually look. So that one worked beautifully. I could just drag it down, but just for this exercise, just to show you something, I'm going to do them all manually. So I'm going to select this cell here, click on auto sum, and correctly as it has put the dancing ants around it, and correct. And this one here, auto sum. Now you'll notice something has happened here. Instead of adding up these numbers across here, all of the uh, consumption of vegetables, it added up above it. Um, so you need to check and see what it's doing. So actually, that isn't the correct place to add up. So all I do is I click and drag with my mouse across the numbers I want to add up. And you'll notice the dancing ants goes around those cells. So I let go my mouse. That's the correct place for the dancing ants to be, or the, the numbers you want to add up. So I'm happy with that now. So when you're happy, then click on the correct symbol and it correctly adds up. Now at the moment, um, this isn't a very nicely laid out 
um, spreadsheet. So I'd like to tidy it up a bit and it's very important to do this on every spreadsheet. The first problem I have is fruit fits okay, meat, vegetable, there's an S in there that's being hidden by the information. So we need to make this a bit wider. In the first video we saw how you can increase the width of the cell here by clicking and dragging between the A and B. So I'm going to do that and you can see now it fits in uh, my titles over here. The next thing to notice is that my titles are not lining up with the numbers. So toddlers looks okay, but kids is sitting over on the left hand side and the number is sitting over on the right hand side, which isn't great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my, my titles up the top. Numbers are always right aligned, so bring your titles to the numbers. And like you would in Microsoft Word, here are the alignment tabs up the top here. So I'm going to click on this align text right. I'm going to click on that. And you can see all of my headings are now sitting above the numbers. That looks a lot better. The next thing I'd like to do is to put some borders on this. So I'm going to select this area here. And don't just roughly select it. Make sure you've exactly selected the area. So again, you let go your mouse when you're happy with the selection. I'm letting go my mouse now. And so that's the area selected. And in here, I can choose the type of border I would like. So in here, I'm going to click on the little triangle. And I'm going to choose all borders and that gives me little skinny lines the whole way through and just as a habit for me I tend to come back in again and I get a thick box border which puts a thick line just on the outside edge of the whole area and it looks uh, reasonably okay now my titles aren't shaded and there's no coloring in on this so I might do something with that so I'm just going to select my titles along the top there and this paint can is the one I select. I click on the little triangle there and put on some sort of color. And I tend to keep my color schemes very sedate and I'm going to use the same color in here and just put on some, um, some change there. Um, the other thing I do is any number that I've calculated, I make the, sh the formatting of it slightly different to any number that I typed in manually myself. So these are my totals that we used the um, auto sum feature for. Um, so maybe I'll just put on bold for those and they'll stand out a bit more. It's very slow for some reason. Just wait a second. Okay, let's come back to it now. And I'm going to make these are totals as well. So I'll put on the bold feature there as well. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I would like to increase the font size of my title up the top. We'll look at nicer ways of doing it later, but for the moment we'll just increase the font size. So I'm going to select food sales up here. And in this new version, I can just tap on this button here or I can select a specific size. I'm just going to increase it um, to make it a little bit bigger. So that's the end of the second video.